Shut up and sit down. What is up, everybody? This is Jeremy from the STS Guys, here with a continuing video from our coverage from Ace Comic Con. Uh, this time, we actually have our haul from Ace Comic Con. Um, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the books that we actually did get signed. Um, coming from Larry's collection, uh, we actually have um, a book that has been signed by Michael Zeck. Uh, Michael Zeck uh, had done work a lot of work for Marvel. He also did that iconic uh, Secret Wars uh, number eight, that first appearance of that black costume cover. Um, so this is, Larry's actually had this comic book since he's been a kid, so he actually had to have it signed. And I said it's awesome that he got to add that to his collection. Uh, another thing that Larry's really into is The Simpsons. And so another other than great Simpsons artist, Phil Ortiz was there. So he actually got a couple of books signed by uh, Phil Ortiz as well. So we have Simpsons Illustrated, number seven. Um, nice thing about Phil Ortiz, super, super nice guy. Like I said, he, he was definitely, you know, want to talk with you, this, that, and the other. And the nice thing about all the autographs there, we didn't pay more than $5 for an autograph from anybody. So some people were free, some people, like I said, they, they, they charged, you know, $5 for. It was, like I said, it was for an autograph. If you wanted an autograph, like I said, it was super affordable to actually meet and greet your creators. And like I said, with, the, with that autograph in hand, Yes, I did for five bucks. So Phil Ortiz for five dollars. Not only did he sign it, but he also did remarks on the on these covers too. So so we have the signature here, and then we have the little little Homer remark there, and then on the Simpsons comics right here, we have the autograph up here, and then we have I said the 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 worried Bart remark right there. Uh, another um, great creator artist that was there uh, was none other than Iron Man legend Bob Layden. So this is his autograph on the first appearance of Ghost. Um, so if you notice, like I said, this, this comic, like I said, the reason why this comic's a little bit more iconic is because, like I said, this is the first appearance of Ghost, who's actually going to be the villain for the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie. So you see that first appearance coming soon from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, the next creator, probably honestly the, the creator that I was most excited to see just because I had never met him uh, at a con before, uh, he was on my list of people to meet, was none other than John Romita. So we got a, a few different things signed by John Romita. Um, like I said, it's it's one of those things where I don't necessarily have to get something CGC'd. I know I was there. Um, like I said, these comics are, are, are actually never going to leave my collection. So it's one of those things where I'm like, I know I was there, I met him, I have these autographs now. So one of my all-time favorite Spider-Man covers is is this one from um, uh, Spider-Man actually 44, uh, so it's 43 here. This is, they, they kind of second volumed um, this. Let me turn that there so we get a little bit less glare. Um, we, uh, I said, awesome placement of this autograph. Like I said, probably my favorite out of, out of the, a lot of uh, John Romita autographs we got, probably my, my favorite placement of it. Um, we also have, uh, Fallen Sun, the death of Captain America. Like I said, I wanted this one. Like I said, not just because it's. Like I said, I, I like the way he he drew his cap on here. But like I said, this the black cover. Like I said with the with the JR with the John Romita signature, awesome. Um, so he did the so J Scott Campbell did the the cover of this book and and John Romita Jr. Uh, did the interior. Um, but so we also have Spider Man four ninety one. I love this cover. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting uh, J. Scott Campbell at another con so I can get this book signed uh, by him as well. Um, for some reason, I forgot that he did this cover when I met him before, so I actually didn't have him sign it. So I have, so now I obviously have John Romita's signature on here. I just need J. Scott Campbell's. So, kind of along those same lines, J. Scott Campbell did this cover as well, but I actually had him sign this cover. This was at a different convention. Uh, well, that I got that I got this signature, but it said John Romita Jr. and his dad, John Romita Sr., did the interiors of this book. Uh, so John Romita went ahead and actually signed it right here. Um, John Romita also did uh, some some X Men books as well. Um, so uh, just because like I said I remember picking this book up specifically as a kid, just because I thought it was like the coolest cover in the entire world. Um, like I said, we have X Men number three hundred. A um, little hard to see the signature on here, but it is actually right here. Um, now getting into some, some different signatures, um, let's go ahead and move this stack of books, just because we're getting heavy, uh, on the stand there. Um, another, like I said, great iconic person that was there 
was none other than the great Mark Bagley. Uh, Mark Bagley, like I said, he's, like I said, he co-created uh, Carnage. Like I said, he had the longest run on Ultimate Spider-Man. So we did pick up a couple of Mark Bagley autographs. Uh, so from the upcoming Venom movie... Uh, that's based off this book and Planet of the Symbiotes, so Venom Lethal Protector and Planet of the Symbiotes. We got uh, a Mark Bigley autograph there. And then we got a Mark Bigley autograph on the first appearance of Carnage. So two iconic books there, uh, two, two signatures, so I'm super happy to have those. I actually have um, a signature on a different comic book from Mark Bigley as well. So, continuing on, so we have a few more books left in the pile. Um, so, another artist that was there, so current uh, Star Wars artist, uh, John Cassidy. Like I said, we got uh, his autograph on a Star Wars number one, so it was awesome to meet him. I said he was signing actually for free, so you didn't have to pay him. And kind of going back to John Romita too, so he was charging $5, but that $5 was going to charity. So, how awesome was that? Like I said, not only do you get to meet the, the great John Romita Jr., but like I said, he's... Charging five dollars, which is very, very reasonable. But then you know, I said he's also donated it all to charity. It's like one hundred percent of the proceeds. Like super, super awesome. Um, another book I got signed. Like I said, I had missed him at the convention that he was at. Um, was uh, Eddie Nunez. Eddie Nunez uh, was a, an artist, a cover artist for uh, Batman Ninja Turtles. Uh, so he did a couple different covers. Um, so this book I had previously signed by. Kevin Eastman uh, right here. So I said I finally was able to pick up the cover artist uh, signature of Eddie Nunez at this con as well. Then the last uh, book I have was, like I said, um, the great Todd McFarlane was, was also at uh, at Ace Comic Con. I said he was signing basically one item for free. So the one item that I got signed for free uh, was probably one of my favorite covers that he's done. Um, like I said, you have Amazing Spider-Man 300 and, and, and those iconic covers. Um, but my, honestly, my favorite cover actually has Venom on it. It's Spider-Man number 316. Um, so, love this comic, love this cover. Such an iconic thing. Like I said, it's probably one of the first times I've ever seen, like, blood actually on the cover. Like I said, from, and it's just the way he drew, like, Spider-Man, the way he drew Venom. Like I said, awesome cover, awesome placement of the signature. So, uh, that is the way, uh, that is where he signed it there for Todd McFarlane. Uh, if you like this video uh, and want to see more, definitely leave us a comment below. Uh, hit Definitely hit that, that thumbs up button down below uh, if you want to see more. Um, we are on Instagram at STS Guys, on Twitter at STS Guys, on Facebook at The STS Guys. We do a weekly podcast um, where you can basically hear about our different adventures and basically different news, nerd news and pop culture things that are going around. Um, we I said, have our website at stsguys.com. Uh, basically, it's a conglomeration of, of everything there, so you can check out the podcast there. Uh, we're on iTunes. We're on Potable. We're on uh, the TuneIn Network. I uh, said, so we are any network you can kind of think of. I said, our podcast is on. Um, so I said, if you want to uh, basically continue to see and follow along, definitely follow at those social media uh, different different social media mediums, and uh, you'll keep up to date. Uh, with our latest giveaways and announcements and, and different things going on. Uh, so for now, this is Jeremy from the SDS Guys, signing out.